Welcome back to the B channel, everybody. Folks are always asking me to do NFA update type videos. And I really think for my main channel, that's not exactly the kind of content I want to create. But for the B channel, that seems like a perfectly fine thing. So we recently got a stamp back and I'm just going to update you guys as to sort of how everything worked out. The stamp itself was for a factory short barrel shotgun. Uh, Mossberg 590A1. So uh, the guns used, I actually purchased it at a really good price. I got it for $225, which is kind of the beauty. A lot of times with uh, short barrel shotguns, folks just sell them cheap, especially distributors, because they're hard to get rid of. So they often sell them at a good discount. Um, so purchased it for $225 used. That's with the light that you guys see here. There was a good bit of them in there. They're definitely in uh, rough condition on the outside. On the inside though, it really looks like there's probably 200 rounds through it, maybe max. Uh, so the gun seems to be in great working condition. Of course, we're gonna have it out on the range here in just a little bit and uh, start putting it to the test and see how it does, but I expect it to do very well. Now the process itself kind of works like this for a short barrel shotgun. Uh, you have to have a Form 3, which basically is the transfer, the inter-dealer transfer, if you will, from, your, uh, from the company selling it to the folks who are gonna actually process your paperwork. So for me, my uh, SOT, in uh, Central North Carolina here is Rayford Guns, real good folks. If you guys ever wanna deal with them, they're very knowledgeable on transfers, do a lot of them, and very helpful for folks who are new. So that's sort of a side note for them. Um, but anyway, uh, they're my SOT. So what I did is a Form 3 from the company I purchased it from. Uh, they do that, uh, both Rayford Guns and the company you purchased it from, or your SOT and the company you purchased it from. That doesn't involve you at all. So if you're purchasing it direct from that company, it's kind of transparent to you and you never see it. But if not, you have to wait. Generally, it takes four to six weeks. In this case, it took five weeks for that Form 3 to go up to the ATF, back down, and the, uh, the shotgun to ship out. Once the paperwork went through, the shotgun shipped down to Rayford Guns. It went down there, filled out the Form 4. Um, I am a trustee in a trust, um, so I filled it out as the trustee. Uh, that was June 8th, so it came in. I believe October 7th is when it came in. So that's 121 days. And actually my wife went down there because she was in the neighborhood, went down there to actually sign for it because she's also a trustee in our trust to pick the shotgun up. So that's one of the benefits of having a trust is that you know aside from being able to e-file certain things, uh, you, other people on the trust can go sign for it if it's convenient. Um, so we did that. The shotgun's here, it took 121 days for the Form 4 to process, and again, about five weeks for the Form 3. So that's really it, guys. That is the update on the gun. It's not too complex, not too much to get into, but I figure it's good fodder for the B channel to give you guys an update as things are going here. Of course, with the NFA, there's a lot of variables. Uh, where you live, i.e. the region of the NFA that you're in, the type of form, uh, whether you e-file or paper file, which, again, certain items you can't e-file, so just keep that in mind. Um, all those things are variables to the processing time, but as of 2015, October time frame anyway, for a Form 4, for a short barrel shotgun, in my case, it's like 121 days. If you guys have any questions beyond that, by all means, you can post below in the comment section. You can also post over at my Facebook page as always, but thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing, and I hope to see you in the next video. One, One more thing, guys. I'm actually testing out a new microphone in this video, so let me know what you think of it, how it sounds, because obviously it's going to sound one way on my computer. It might sound a little bit different on yours. Just let me know what you think, because I might put this into all the other videos, at least for indoor filming anyway. Either way, let me know.